Well, the 2023 high school football season officially came to an end over the weekend, and we felt it was only right to put a bow on the season by recapping what transpired during our state championships over the last couple of days. Take a look. We'll kick things off on Friday where the Grant Pacers faced off against the Lucerna Lancers in the Division II AA state title game. Grant was seeking back-to-back -back state titles, but they suffered a serious blow in the second quarter when starting quarterback Luke Alexander was knocked out of the game on this play. He was diagnosed with a concussion and would not return. Now, despite a freshman quarterback coming in for Alexander, the Pacers were still very much in this game. Now, on their final drive, after scoring a touchdown, they would need the two-point conversion to tie, but Wayshawn Parker comes up just short, and the Pacers come so close to repeating as state champions as they fall to the Lucerna Lancers. Never happy coming out with a loss, but, I mean, losing your starting quarterback, it's, it's tough coming back, but coming within, again, an inch of a, an inch of being in a tie and being in a ball game, you, you got you to gotta love where we're at. You got to love the, the work of a coaching staff. You got to love the heart, and you got to love everything about these kids that we're going to fight. I mean, this team is my family, so I'm trying to take this team to championship, win the state, but clearly we didn't. But it's just that this team is my family, and I don't want to let them down. I'm not down. I'm just sad that, man, I'm a big pacer, like, I, I mean, this is all I got. It's all I know. So just, just like it's my, being my last year, and I can't play with them, it just hurts. Especially ending like this. But I got. I'm keeping my head high, trying. On Friday, the Woodland Christian Cardinals put their undefeated record on the line against the Banning Pilots out of Wilmington in the Division 5A state title game. And while Banning kept things close in the first half, Woodland Christian was able to bust this game open in the second half. And the Cardinals would go on to win this one 23 to 13, capturing their first state title in program history. Oh, and by the way, going undefeated along the way. Man, I don't even, it's just a crazy feeling that we don't have no practice Monday. Like, what am I going to do on Monday? Just celebrate with the boys. And uh, uh, a lot of them, you know, it's so well deserved. So I've been with a lot of them since they were just pups. I, I coached Bob since he was nine. Shane since he was 10, so Isaiah, the quarterback, since he was nine. So I've been their head coach every year, so it's just awesome to see this. And finally, those Folsom Bulldogs. Hey, 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 hey. In the Division 1A state title game, Folsom took on St. Bonaventure out of Ventura, the Bulldogs seeking their first state title since 2018, and Folsom would have to claw their way back into this game after being down 14 to seven in the fourth quarter. Sophomore quarterback Ryder Lyons threw on a Superman cape and led the Bulldogs on back-to-back -back scoring drives. The latter being the game winner as Lyons connects with Jamison Powell for the game-winning touchdown with just seconds left on the clock. The Bulldogs win this one 20-14. That's their fifth state title in program history and the first state title for coach Paul Doherty as a head coach. Got it. It's just immense gratitude for everybody that puts so much time and energy in. The kids first, for sure. Their parents right, right behind them. The school district's incredible. The admin on campus, the admin at the district office, they make this program possible. They put us in positions to work with kids. We love working with these kids in this community. Uh, it's just incredibly rewarding. I'm happy for them. I mean, this thing is just how much we've worked for this. I mean, we've been... We've been training for this for about a whole year, so you come out here and you just have to have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your team that you're gonna go and get the job done. We just thank God for everything, and we just come in the game, and we just come in the game with the mindset that we them guys, and we gonna come in and take over anybody in front of us. Oh, nice. Also, shout out to the Calusa Redhawks out of Northern California for winning their state title as well. Congratulations to all of our local teams.